Everybody, this is Beetle Five. Welcome to another one of my reaction videos. I have with me the Ginger here. Hello, everyone. And today we will be reacting to the Zoro versus Urza death battle. Now, I do apologize. This is a day late. Yesterday, Ginger was at the dentist that night, and he could not participate. So we're holding <laughs> it off up to one day. So either this comes out tonight or tomorrow. I'll upload it as soon as I possibly can. But anyway, Zoro versus Urza. Gotta say, we both absolutely yeah. love fairy tale urza nope. is easily one of the coolest characters in the whole show neither of us know jack shit about one piece <laughs> yeah we true. don't watch it we have no idea from what i gather though i have a friend who does watch one piece he told me that mm -hmm. zoro is like a master swordsman I mean, when i say master i mean like holy shit a really good master swordsman so he's definitely not one to be um underlooked Okay. But then again, Ursa's kind of a master everything. She yeah, she's like a mage of, she's swords. She has a bunch of different weapons and shit, so I think I really want to put my favorite to Urza, but then again, this is an anime fight. Any Anytime anime characters are involved, it gets really tricky. I mean, look at Goku yeah. versus Superman. So, I want to yeah, put, put my heart to Urza, but we'll see what they say after the analysis. Yeah, that's just the way. Alright, so, I assume you have the video loaded? Yeah. All right, we will be starting then in three, two, one, go. Past, present, or future, <laughs> one Python. kind of fighter has stood the test of time. <gasps> the swordsman. The swordsman. And today's yeah, combatants are two of the most skilled warriors to ever wield a blade. Roranoa Zoro, the feared swordsman of the Straw Hat Pirates. And Urza Scarlet, the battle mage of the fairy tale guild. Yeah. He's whiz and I'm boomstick. Yeah. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Huh. Those have to be handmade sprites. I've never known visual games from either one of them. As a child, yeah, Ura Noah Zoro dreamed of becoming the greatest swordsman in the world. But he didn't just enroll at a dojo. He showed up, challenged everyone, and then just sort of stuck around. Zoro's dojo training sharpened his natural talent with a sword, but there was one person he could never quite manage to beat. His sensei's daughter, Kuina. They dueled a lot, <laughs> and Kuina won every single matchup. All 2001 of them. Jesus. Damn, you think you would have gotten at least wow. one in? Despite the constant defeat, Kuina and Zoro were very close friends. Together, they promised that someday one of them would become the world's best swordsman. And then she fell down some stairs and died. Which Seriously? just seems like an unacceptable really? way for a master swordsman to bite the dust. That's depressing. It does <laughs> thin out the competition for world's best swordsman, though. True. I mean, that's how I became the world's best shotgun woodcarver. <laughs> shotgun woodcarver? After wood Queen's death, Zoro inherited Jesus. her sword and used it to hone yes. his skills even further. Awful sense of direction. Eventually leaving the dojo in search of the current title holder of world's greatest swordsman. Wow, that's a large Dracul amount of bounty. Mark. But he immediately got himself lost. With nothing better to do, he became a bounty hunter and wandered around the ocean until he ran into oh, yeah, a weird, he uses three stretchy shorts, pirate one in his mouth. You mean Monkey, Monkey D. Luffy, Luffy, who brought Zoro on his know crew his of know Straw much. Hat Pirates. Actually worked out pretty well since Luffy was already looking to hire him anyway. Turns out Zoro has quite a reputation. At this point, he was already a master swordsman and after finding and training under Mihawk, his swordsmanship became legendary. He created his own fighting style, Santoryu, also called Three Sword Style, because he uses three swords, oh, one in each hand, and one in his freaking mouth. That doesn't seem very safe. Oh, shut up, Wiz. Badasses don't care about safety. I wonder if he actually Regardless, wields with it, the three sword style, it. Zoro can perform several unique attacks, including the Onigiri where he strikes with all three blades at once. Ooh. Or the Tatsumaki, where he makes a tornado dragon. By swinging his swords a certain Damn. way, he can fire compressed air projectiles toward an opponent, oh. like with his deadliest technique, the 1080-pound wow. cannon. <laughs> and last but not least, he knows the Kutoryu Nine Sword style. Wait, did he just grow four more arms and two more heads? <laughs> <laughs> How the hell did he do that? 
<laughs> it's just an illusion, but it still somehow has physical presence. Oh, God. He's like a human slap chub with a total of nine <laughs> swords. That's He's one like way to put it. In addition to his skills with the blade, Zoro is, is able to use forever. hockey, a mysterious power that every living being possesses, but only a select few have learned how to use. Hockey, much like Neapolitan ice cream, comes in three flavors, and <laughs> Zoro only has access to chocolate and vanilla. Huh. Chocolate? I... What? I, I don't even... Well, one of those flavors is observation hockey. <laughs> That's vanilla! Of course. Which, in some ways, is similar to Spider-Man's Spider Spidey Sense. <laughs> Zoro yeah. can sense the location of other people, even if they're invisible oh. or far away, and can also predict most opponents' attacks. Oh. Then chocolate, everyone's oh. favorite hockey flavor, is armament hockey. This lets him form an invisible armor around himself as protection, or harden his swords to make his strikes cut through almost anything. Oh. With both hockey, Zoro has been a real asset to the Straw Hat Pirates. They've traveled the world and had a lot of weird the adventures. fuck is that thing? Like that time, <laughs> Zoro fought a literal Jesus. living mountain man named Pika and sliced him clean in half. A strike so powerful it didn't just cut through Pika, it sent his top half flying upward. Uh, Considering Pika's enormous size and approximate mass, this strike had to have been more powerful than the first ever deployed hydrogen bomb, what? the 11 megaton Castle Romeo. Also, Zoro's pretty damn fast. One time he moved so quickly he seemed invisible to a room full of highly trained assassins. Oh, man. And when the odds are against him, he'll Plus keep pushing himself even wave. past the point of bleeding out. Thus, Damn. he's powered through some incredibly intense pain, such as... <laughs> Holy shit! Oh, no. How the hell is he still standing after that? That's a good question. After a battle with Kuma, a bear man because this is One Piece, Zoro took on not only his <laughs> own pain is near death, but also Luffy's, despite being told that doing so would surely kill him. But it just didn't. He doesn't even brag about Anime. it. What a badass. Yeah, that's it. Just Zoro Anime. is definitely the stoic badass type, but he can't do everything. He's a sword fighter above all, and prefers to fight up close and personal. Oh. He also has the world's shittiest sense of direction. <laughs> he gets lost without someone there literally reading the map for him, and could never survive on his own without his friends. You might think oh. Zoro would be more of a lone wolf type of guy, but no. Much like how Kuina's death spurred him on to become a great swordsman, it's his friends who keep him fighting. Oh, okay. I set sail for only one reason, to meet you. And what is your goal? To beat you. I think the fact that he's Urza has Scarlet, people to depend on is going to be his downfall. Yeah. Urza's been by herself for a long time. It was pretty oh, yeah. picturesque as far as childhoods go. Hold on, Wiz. I'm she, she only ever had Jalal with him, which is, Despite as you can go explain. everything <laughs> seeming perfect, something, something terrible happens. Yeah. A murderous cult attacked, destroyed the city, and enslaved the children to build a tower to resurrect their evil overlord. Right. Mm. There it is. Young Urza was tortured, and while she may have lost an eye in the process, she also gained a friend. Jalal <laughs> no, see, Jalal's my favorite character. He actually gave her her last name, Jalal. Scarlet, after her yeah, red hair. So cool. okay. She and her buddies swore they'd escape, so Urza ended up staging a revolt and saved the other slaves thanks to discovering her latent magical powers. Unfortunately, then not Jalal everyone made evil. it out. <laughs> Turns out Jalal got possessed by some spirit that made him a huge dick, and oh, she had yeah. to go without it. Generally, yes. Fine, if you yep. want to leave so badly, then I'm not going to stop you. But you'll have to go alone. After that nightmare, Urza swore to dedicate her life to helping and protecting Wait, the innocent, and so joined yeah, the fairy tale magician's the fuck guild. Take place? Luckily for them, she possessed a great skill set for a mage. Her, her main Damn. thing is requip magic, which is basically like having an armory with you at all times without having to lug it around. Requip magic allows Urza to summon her vast array of weapons and armor at will, meaning she can use multiple combinations of swords, lances, and outfits. Yeah, heaven's all in one wheel. Fight heaven's ever wheel is easily one of her best down. ones. Damn, that'd be yeah. useful for all my weapons. That's gonna be good How against many swords. She She's clear heart to have clothing. To as many as hundred sets yeah. of armor. What's the one that's called? Which has got the bandage on the chest. Nice. That was really powerful. As far too. as armor goes, her go-to is the standard heart cruise set. Yeah. But there's also the heaven's, heaven's wheel, wheel armor, where she can send swords flying mm -hmm. at people the spiky defensive adamantine armor, and the black wing and flame empress armors, oh, which have wings wing armor. for yeah. flying. And that's fire retardant. Don't forget her giant Natsu. armor, which she uses with a lance, purgatory armor, which has a lot of spikes, and uh, 
seduction armor? <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm not really sure what purpose this serves. Oh, yeah. Probably oh. to make enemies terribly aroused. That was great. Ever tried to fight with an erection whiz? <laughs> Believe me, it's not easy. <laughs> oh. Right. Well, Urza claims her most powerful yes. armor is the Armadura Fairy Armor, which is very pink. pink. <laughs> These are fancy and all, but sometimes she doesn't even bother suiting up. If her back's against the wall, Urza equips her clear heart clothing. Yes, this enhances her speed and attack yes, over the best and ones. channels all her magical energy into her katanas for a decisive blow. Yeah. She can charge magic through her swords to perform all sorts of magical attacks, even mixing and matching weapons and armors to better her chances in a fight. She's also just really good at sword fighting. Actually, she's really good with a lot of weapons, including hand to hand. All of this makes Urza an excellent addition to the Fairy Tale Guild. She quickly became one of its highest ranking mages and was the youngest member to ever pass the S class mage promotion test. Mm -hmm. An incredibly difficult yeah, gauntlet, only, only the strongest wizards. and wisest well, warriors can even attempt. Somewhere. Speaking of achievements, she's pretty friggin' strong. Don't believe me? Well, here she is, lancing a hole through a giant floating cube. This oh, cube yeah. was about 100 million cubic miles in volume. To punch through it, Urza's lance must have dealt about 16 kilotons of force. Urza's also fast enough to deflect bullets point blank from a flintlock pistol. Guns with a muzzle velocity of about 540 miles per hour. Oh. And that's without a speed boost from her armor. Damn. All right, many oh. of her armor sets grant her stat boosts, increasing her speed, magic, defense, etc. She survived plenty of destructive blasts, including one that blew up an island. Considering that island's size, yeah, that's say, Urza's one tough cookie. She could survive like a lot of, of shit. Oh yeah. So she's sexy, <laughs> can survive island-busting attacks, yeah. and has a shit ton of weapons. She's basically perfect. <laughs> I just wish she used a gun or two. <laughs> well, she may have a no vast gun. armory, no, but no swapping guns. them in and out requires magic, and she can run her supply down if mm. she's not careful. So it's just like a mana bar in those fantasy games you Diablo. always play. <laughs> exactly. Mm -hmm. and though even when she's out of magic, she's still quite deadly in hand to hand. Yep. Yeah. Like when she fought her alternate self from another parallel oh, oh, universe. Yeah, I remember that. That universe has a lot less clothing. <laughs> Sign me up. <laughs> but when you're among the best in the guild, you get the job oh, done no matter the limits. <laughs> I will withstand any physical pain to protect the ones that I love. Yeah, I think Urza's okay. gonna win. All right, the combatants still, are right, set. Let's end Urza. this debate once and for all. Yeah, it's time really for a death battle! Like, 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 I just think Urza's weapon advantage is gonna give her the edge yeah. she needs. I think Zor has to rely on team, and Urza oh, can fight by herself. Sorry, lady. Could you point me in the way of she the shipyard? She got a bunch of more weapons. Could you point me in the way of the shipyard? for hours. Ha! Oh boy. Watch this. You're the one I'm looking for. Oh boy. Come peacefully and you won't be harmed. Oh. Sorry, I'm busy. Maybe later. <laughs> and we'll have to do this the hard way. All right. I told you I'm busy. All right, come on, Urza. You got to be very smart. Well, I guess we're doing this now. <laughs> I guess we're doing this. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh, oh. Whoa. Oh, here what? we go. You're coming with me! Blackwing armor. Neat trick. Oh, uh, the flame on that flame emperor's armor. Oh, he's up high. Am I laughing at this? That is funny. Uh, oh, Adam's seen armor. See, my fear is that she's gonna waste magical energy. I don't want that to happen. Yeah. That's the one thing I can stop her. Oh, giant armor. Oh. 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 You are strong, pirate. But this is too great. Uh, I'm suddenly having regrets. Oh, come on, Lisa. Come on. Come on. Please don't let me down here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, here we go. Clear heart Four. armor. Nothing is worse than the loss of life. <sighs> Don't start crying, woman. Uh, what? So much for all that true strength bullshit, mm -hmm. huh? Uh, no. I can do this! Come on, please. Heaven's wheel. You were better I off with clear hard armor. I will for my guilt! For my strength! For my friends! Oh. Uh, 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 
Bring it on! Oh. Oh, oh no. no. Please, no, oh, no, no, no. Please don't let this happen. You're not the only one who fights for their friends. Oh, come on. No. Uh. Oh. <laughs> Oh. Where the hell is that shipyard? I had my doubts. KO! Jesus! Talk about a killing blow! Oh, In the wow. past, Urza could react to projectiles flying over 500 miles per like hour, but place. Zoro so could move faster it. than the eye could see. U.S. Air Force tests have shown that a well-trained human eye can consistently spot and recognize an image in 1 220th of a second. So, in this case, Zoro would have had to move from point A to point B, which is about 57 feet, in 4.5 milliseconds. That's close to 9,000 miles per hour. That's more than five times faster than a bullet. But Urza didn't really armor? rely on speed Even anyway, and speed there's no evidence any of her armor magic could have helped close that wide of a gap. Speaking of her armor, Urza did have more options in defense and weaponry. Unfortunately for her, she was simply outclassed and damage dealt. Urza could withstand hits of about two kilotons, like the blast which destroyed that island. But Zoro has dished out much stronger blows than that. Slicing Pika in half, for example, was equivalent to 11.5 megatons. That's about 6,000 times bigger than anything Urza has survived. And while Urza's artificial eye may have seen through Zoro's Nine Sword style illusion, it couldn't prevent him from actually attacking her. She also had that habit of stripping down to clear heart clothing in a bind. Yeah, it gave her more sword power, but at the cost of less defense. This sounded like a good idea on paper, but close-range combat was Zoro's bread and butter. Urza was mostly self-taught, and while proficient with a blade, Zoro has trained with swords all his life. Even with the greatest swordsman in the world, an up-close duel was exactly what he was looking for. Guess she won't be getting a fairy tale ending. <laughs> the winner is Roranoa Zoro. Yeah. Next time on Death Battle. They're close to their end. This better be a really good one. Oh, Deadpool! Except for one man. Chimmy Junga! Yes. What? Hey guys, I'm Chad. I'm the Boomstick. I'm Ben. I play Wiz. And next time, Deadpool is back. Okay. Oh God. <laughs> and we're doing something a little different this time. We're going to be announcing his opponent on the Death Battle cast. Which, if you haven't heard, is a thing. We launched a podcast around Death Battle Death where we hang out, talk fights, and goof around. It's a lot of fun. Go check it out. Thanks, guys. I am a little confused. He already <laughs> kicked Deathstroke's ass. What's with them now bringing back old guys? I mean, they brought back Shadow. <laughs> They'll bring back Deadpool. But you know what? I like Deadpool. Well, so who doesn't love Deadpool? But I mean, I don't know. Yeah. Who's gonna fight Dante from Devil May? Cry? Oh no, duh, he already fought. I would say he already fought Bayonetta. No, I, I, I don't know. Dante was always a good matchup. I thought in my mind for Deadpool. Now who oh, are they yeah. gonna? And now who are they gonna put Deadpool against? I don't know. All I know yeah. is that this is among some of the last ones. It it better be damn good. Oh okay. yeah. Well, anyways, that was disappointing, but I felt like it was against our odds. Yeah. But anyways, that was a good battle regardless. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to leave a comment of what else I should react to in the future. And I will see you guys next time. Later.